If you've ever wondered why some gardens seem to burst with life while others struggle despite good sunlight and regular watering, the answer might lie beneath the surface. Mycorrhizal fungi form a symbiotic network with plant roots that helps them absorb nutrients, access water, and communicate with neighboring plants. In this guide, we're diving deep into how you can build better soil by embracing this underground wonder. Let's get started on building your soil's support system from the roots up. The invisible network beneath your feet. Mycorrhizae may not be visible to the naked eye, but they're everywhere in natural ecosystems. The term mycorrhiza literally means fungus root, and it refers to the beneficial relationship between certain fungi and plant roots. Instead of competing, they work together. The fungi extend thin, thread-like structures called hyphae into the soil, effectively increasing the surface area of the plant's root system. This underground collaboration has evolved over hundreds of millions of years. In fact, it's estimated that over 90% of all land plants depend on mycorrhizal fungi for essential nutrients and moisture. In exchange, plants provide the fungi with sugars produced through photosynthesis. It's a win-win alliance that strengthens plant health and creates a stable, resilient soil structure. Think of mycorrhizae as nature's internet. These fungal threads connect plants to one another, transmitting signals, sharing resources, and even alerting nearby plants to threats like pests or drought. It's a truly interconnected network, working silently and efficiently under the surface to support all visible plant life. The Benefits of Mycorrhizal Networks in Your Garden Once you introduce or support existing mycorrhizal fungi in your soil, the benefits become quickly apparent. One of the most important is enhanced nutrient uptake. Mycorrhizae are particularly good at helping plants absorb phosphorus and micronutrients like zinc and copper, elements that roots often struggle to reach in poor or compacted soil. Because of their far-reaching hyphae, these fungi also improve water absorption. In times of drought or irregular rainfall, plants connected to a mycorrhizal network are significantly more resilient. They can tap into distant moisture reserves beyond the root zone, giving them a major survival advantage. Another major bonus is overall plant growth and yield. Healthier root systems lead to stronger stems, lusher foliage, and higher fruit or vegetable production. This makes mycorrhizae especially valuable in vegetable gardens, orchards, and even ornamental beds. They improve the biological activity in soil, reduce the need for chemical fertilizers, and create a thriving underground ecosystem that keeps your plants thriving season after season. How to introduce mycorrhizae to your garden soil? The good news is, your garden may already have some native mycorrhizae present, especially if your soil is rich in organic matter and hasn't been heavily disturbed. But even healthy gardens can benefit from additional inoculation, especially if you're starting new beds, working with compacted or depleted soil, or planting trees, shrubs, or vegetables. Mycorrhizal inoculants are widely available at most garden centers. They come in powder, granular, or liquid form and can be applied directly to plant roots mixed into potting soil or watered into planting holes. The most effective method is to apply them directly at the root zone during transplanting. Make sure roots come into direct contact with the fungi for colonization to begin. To ensure these fungi thrive, focus on soil health. Avoid synthetic fertilizers high in phosphorus, which can suppress mycorrhizal colonization. Stick to organic matter like compost, mulch, and worm castings to feed both your plants and your fungi. Keep tilling to a minimum. Excessive soil disturbance breaks up fungal hyphae and destroys the very networks you're trying to build. Diversity is also key. Companion planting and crop rotation help maintain a balanced fungal population. Mycorrhizae benefit from having a variety of plant hosts, so mixing vegetables, herbs, and flowers creates a richer web of connections below ground. Avoid fungicides and other harsh chemicals that can kill beneficial fungi alongside the harmful ones. How Mycorrhizae help the bigger picture beyond your garden While we focus on garden benefits, the role of mycorrhizae stretches far beyond backyard borders. These fungi are vital for carbon sequestration a major piece of the climate change puzzle. Through their relationship with plants, 
Mycorrhizae help transfer atmospheric carbon deep into the soil, where it can be stored for years. This natural process is one of the planet's most efficient systems for capturing and holding carbon. They also play a major role in biodiversity. Forests, grasslands, and even deserts rely on mycorrhizal fungi to maintain ecological balance. In fact, researchers have discovered entire forest communities connected through these fungal networks. An underground social network that lets older trees share nutrients with saplings or help sick trees recover. By supporting mycorrhizae in your own garden, you're contributing to a broader ecological movement. Healthy fungal networks mean healthier soils, less erosion, and more resilient ecosystems. In this way, your garden becomes part of a living, breathing, planet-wide network, small actions creating big impact. Fostering a mycorrhizal garden for the long haul. If you're serious about building soil that's alive and productive, commit to long-term practices that protect and foster these beneficial fungi. Start by feeding your soil with compost, mulch, and green manures. Let organic matter do its work and allow fungal life to flourish. Reduce soil compaction by using pathways and avoiding heavy machinery in growing areas. Compacted soil limits airflow and water movement. Two things fungi need to survive. When planting perennials, apply inoculants just once. The fungi will multiply naturally as long as the soil remains undisturbed and nourished. Plant diversity is not only beautiful, it's functional. The more varied your plant palette, the more hosts the mycorrhizal fungi have to form relationships with. Mix deep-rooted plants with shallow-rooted ones, and consider native species which are often more likely to support mycorrhizal activity. Be mindful of what you remove as well. Overclearing garden beds in fall, excessive digging, or spraying with antifungal agents undoes the complex system you've been building. Instead, let parts of your garden rest and regenerate, just like nature does. Conclusion Let's grow with nature, not against it. There's a quiet revolution happening beneath your feet. Mycorrhizal fungi may be invisible, but their impact on soil health, plant vitality, and environmental sustainability is profound. By understanding and encouraging these underground allies, you unlock one of the most powerful tools available to any gardener. This isn't just about better vegetables or lusher landscapes. It's about rethinking how we connect with the natural systems that support life. Soil isn't just dirt. It's a living, breathing ecosystem full of potential. And when we nurture mycorrhizae, we create soil that feeds, protects, and regenerates itself season after season. So the next time you step into your garden, remember, you're not gardening alone. You're working with billions of microscopic allies who want your plants to thrive just as much as you do. If you found this guide helpful and eye-opening, don't forget to subscribe to Soil and Crop Central for more practical science-based gardening insights. Share this video with a fellow grower who's ready to take their garden to the next level, and drop a comment below we'd love to hear how mycorrhizae are transforming your growing journey.